Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for joining us on the channel today and joining us on this episode. Okay, so we're out and about today, and what have we got? Well, we've got the brand new FMS Land Rover Series 2 scaled truck. It's 112th. I think it's a bit smaller than 112th, actually. I think it's more about 1 <laughs> 113th, 114th, but it's meant to be a 112th scale uh, replica. And uh, I must admit, FMS have done a cracking job in uh, replicating the, uh, the Land Rover Series 2, of which I will go into more detail in a bit. Now, I have already been testing out, as you can see. Um, we're actually not at my first choice of location today, just be uh, where we were going to Skipple, where we go usually, and unfortunately, it's just too flooded out. So, uh, we're not there. Now, before I carry on with that, I'm using this ace tree stump as with most fms products you get a rather cool handy box to keep your stuff in that's all it comes in with you get in the box you get your instruction manual which is handy now i'm gonna drop it on yeah there we go uh with the truck the land Rover, you get two choices of uh hard top you get the uh, truck cab which i've put on it for now and then you get the full length hard top so you can have whichever one you want. I'm not sure which one I like yet. I like both of them, but I've gone with the uh, truck cab. So that's what you get with it. You also get a screwdriver and some small screws. That's how you actually keep your uh, chosen roof on the model. And uh, what else do you get? Spare screws in there for it. A uh, box wrench for any nuts you need to undo on the car. And of course you get your USB charger and uh, I'll show you the, the battery and everything in a minute. So, let's put these back in here. Try not to damage anything. Okay, so I'll move that out of the way. That's your handset as well. We saw this on the um, Chevy uh, K5 Blazer. Great little things, these. So, I really like them. In fact, if you're not seeing the Chevy Blazer video, um, I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, so this is the model, and what we'll do is we'll flip up the bonnet there. So there you are, you've got a 7.4 volt uh, battery, uh, it's a little uh, LiPo battery, and it's uh, 380 milliamps. So that should last you about, I don't know, 15-20 minutes or so. And then, okay, you've got everything in there, all your electrics, ESC, servos, all under the bonnet, kind of looks like it's the, uh, the engine, I guess. You've got your on and off switch there, which... So if I click that in there, lights come on, and, and then it goes off. Okay. Now, if uh, you use this uh, channel 4 button there, if I go through them, you'll see that you get your side lights on, side lights brighter, all the lights on, including uh, the indicators, but working as hazard lights. <laughs> and then if you press it again, you just get the main headlights and then indicators when you turn. Same on the back as well, you get uh, your indicators and your brake lights, which is good. So that's uh, all good. Okay, what else we've got? Also on the remote, you've got your settings there for altering the amount of drag brake you want from 25% uh, all the way up to 100%. I think I've got this set on about half, 50% on this. So yeah, it's a lovely looking model and to be honest, they've got a lot of the details correct on the Land Rover, which I'm pleased about because I'm a bit of a Land Rover geek, I'm sure, ooh, nearly, nearly dropped it. I'm sure a lot of you know that now, or regulars watch the channel, you know I like my Land Rovers. So this was an absolute definite when this uh, I found this was uh, being released. Still waiting on the Charisma Bulldog or the Land Rover Series 3 coming out. The detail's amazing now, look, you've got your proper T-grill there, and it's actually a little wire mesh. You've got your little, that'd be where your bonnet, bonnet um, hook is for the on the full-size vehicle. It's even got the uh, the tiny Land Rover badge there. Now they've given it a station wagon badge for if you've got the hard roof on, but if any of you know your Land Rovers out there, you'll know the fact that if it's a station wagon, it should have four seats in the back. <laughs> um, so they've not quite done that, but we'll let them off. A um, couple of things, generally, if it was uh, to make it a bit more scale, the rear cross member here should be black to match the chassis. It shouldn't be bodywork colour. And also as well, around your windscreen area and around the uh, the cappings and around the tub area there 
and the doors. That should be in silver as well, the, the galvanised on the uh, on the full size vehicle. Um, and if you can look inside there, the detail again is incredible. They've even got um, high and low ratio levers, overdrive, the actual gear lever. And they've even got a hand throttle as well under the dash, which is if you have a winch or anything like that, you can control the engine speed while your vehicle is stationary. So, the, I say the detail is fantastic on it, really is. Um, even your doors open as well, even on there, you know, you've got the, the door pull there, the door cards even have little pockets in. Uh, the detail's fantastic on this, it really is. You can fold the windscreen down as well, but I'm not going to because I've got my roof on. Okay, and of course, tailgate. Tailgate comes down as well. Proper mud flaps, which I've just shut my grubby hand in. Uh, also as well, that's the underneath. Now, as it is a uh, proper Land Rover, all series Land Rovers have leaf springs. So you've even got proper leaf springs and new bolts as well, just like the real vehicle. So that's fantastic. That uh, Soft uh, seats as well, interior, soft interior. Fantastic. Proper wing mirrors on there as well. It's uh, The detail is fantastic. It actually as well, that's your, your fuel cap and that, that's the filler. I just started to detail it in silver just to see if I could get that galvanised look. So my plan is, is to do all the cappings eventually. Uh, but that will come out in another video at some point when I've got a lot of time. Um, wheels and tyres are good. Now they are the right type of wheels but they are a little bit big for the Land Rover. I think these are off another model that F FMS do like the Willys Jeep. But for actually for a scale Land Rover the wheel rim is just a little bit too big. But again, not the end of the world, but if you know your Land Rovers, you'll go, no, that's not quite right. But uh, otherwise, they've done a fantastic effort, absolutely fantastic. Bonnet hinges are on there, they're not working ones there for show. Again, I started to de detail them up as well. Windscreen folds over as well if you don't have any roofs on. And uh, we've even got a driver figure in today. I don't usually do drive the figures, but we decided to try and put one in because there's like obviously a big gap because there's no door tops on it. So we thought we'd try and fit one in and we've butchered the ninth doctor uh for this <laughs> it was the only one we could find absolutely butchered him uh, but he's in there so we'll see how long he stays when we're moving this vehicle about anyway um so yeah absolutely fantastic the details bob on absolutely brilliant i'm really impressed with it uh, even again you've got even the proper front valance covers they've got a proper sort of now that would be a galvanized bumper correct wing mirrors on there it really is spot on um just minor details anyway uh, let's go and uh, see what it's like so i need to put it on so we're on there and as i said oh actually as well if you like detail in there if you can see it they've even got see if me track there you go look even got a bonnet a bonnet stay as well which I, i'm trying to do with one hand and i can't do it now but yeah basically they've even got the little bonnet stay there how cool is that anyway yeah, let me sit on there that out, it? Ta -da. right let's uh, give it a go now i'm sure some of you if you've seen uh tom lee rc's video he took this over some some rocks and he really did find the perfect terrain for this and it actually crawled quite well um, thing is, it is a scale truck, not a rock crawler, it's a scale truck. So, if you're going over long grass, the U-bolts tend to catch on it underneath, and that can slow it down. But on here, it should be fine. Now, I'm going to reverse a minute. I forgot as well, you've got, it's a two-speed transmission. So, this is the on high speed. As you can see. So that's it on the, the high speed. With it being on Leaf Springs, it is quite a hard ride. We should try driving the originals, full size ones. And then I'm going to click it over now into low range. That is your low range speed. And I've just noticed I've shaken my screen off. Now, it would help if I'd actually screwed it on um, like you meant to, but as I said, I didn't want to do that just yet. Anyway, let's take him through. In fact, let's put some lights on it because uh, it should have the lights on, shouldn't it? Really, it's a gloomy day after all. 
But I say, for stuff like this, you know, it, it's absolutely spot on. Indicators there, brake lights coming on. But yeah, I mean, for this sort of uh, ground, it, it looks fantastic. Look at that. How good is that? If you do like to scale vehicles, this has got to be definitely one that you want to consider, or if you're just a fan of Land Rovers. I'm really impressed as well that the driver hasn't fallen out yet, which is good. Just going to go up there a minute, and I'll turn around. Yeah, I think, you know, it does look nice. Just the headlights make it as well. But yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I could, uh, I could sit and photograph this all day. Just it just looks so good. But, uh, I think what we will do is I will try and get the uh, all the details painted up on this, and um, I'll get the roof then put on it, which one I decide to go for. Screw it all in properly, and we'll come out with it again. And I'll find some different terrain for it um, to show off, um, you know, a bit more of its capability. Because I said on low down things, um, you know, it sort of drags itself a bit on them. But you get it on the right terrain, and it is actually quite a capable thing for its uh, size. But as I said, it is a scaled vehicle, it is not a rock crawler. And uh, hopefully, if Charisma bring their bulldog out soon, that is definitely more of a crawler. Uh, even still that's a trail truck but it'll be more capable than this anyway there you go so I'm gonna leave this one here uh, this video here for now let's get this back out on a future video and hopefully I've done a few more things to it um, and I'm really impressed at the fact that uh, the ninth doctor has uh, stayed in the car without falling over which is great anyway that is the FMS Land Rover Series 2 and uh, I actually uh, think that's fantastic. Another quality product, excellent details and uh, I like uh, I like it. So uh, yeah, so quick recap, if you're expecting an out and out um, off-road vehicle for rock crawling, that is probably not the model for you. But if you like your scale vehicles and you want to just take it on some nice tracks and uh, you know maybe do some extra details on it then maybe this is the one for you also as well fair rc have brought some other colors out on this as well um you can get there's a pink one if you like your girl or you just like pink uh, they're doing a pink vehicle they've done a rusted out version as well which is cool i like that and um, and the other two colors you can get if you get it from fms you get it in a blue which is a bit like the marine blue color that there's a lot of Land Rovers were done in, and they're doing like a sand sort of colour as well, which is a bit like the Camel Trophy colours uh, as well. But yeah, anyway, uh, very impressed, really liking this. Um, obviously, mainly swayed because it's a Land Rover. Right, anyway, um, we're going to go. We've got all the stuff to do. My poor wife is uh, filming this and holding our newborn, so um, it's time to wrap this one up. Cheers for checking this video out. Much appreciated as always. If you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel always helps and also come and check us out on facebook and instagram under andy robinson rc for loads more content we're off now look after yourselves take care and hope you enjoyed it see you later bye